Uh, very good afternoon to y'all. Okay guys, so it's kind of dark out here, but I am out here for Luca's last walk of, well not even the last walk honestly. It just looks like his last walk, so it kind of threw me off. Anyway, I'm out here for one of Luca's walks. <sighs> I'm taking him in my backyard because it's just more convenient sometimes, but he still has to be on a leash because he is totally that dog that will run off. And then I'll have to like chase him and it's just crazy annoying. Okay, so I am pretty sure that just me and two of my other friends had a good New Year's Eve. All of the rest of them went to a party. And the party, I set this in the backyard, but they didn't have fun because the party got shut down. And then one of my friends, Sanaya, lost her brand new iPhone 6. So... I kind of was right. I'm not going to say I told you so, but I just did not feel like it was a good idea to go out to a party on New Year's Eve that was like probably just going to be a bunch of teenagers drinking and smoking and that's not my scene. Like I'm not into that. First of all, I'm not a teenager anymore and it's not that I don't want to be around teenagers because most of my friends are teenagers and there's nothing wrong with teenagers, but I just feel like if I'm going to do something on New Year's, I just want it to be with my friends or, you know, I don't really want to go out to a party and you have a lot of super illegal activity going on. So if the cops come, you all are in trouble and that's pretty much what happened. Like they went to a party, the party got shut down by the police and they all were like upset. So I just try to stay away from that type of stuff. Parties parties are not my scene, period. Like, I don't... First of all, I'm claustrophobic as hell. Like, you guys do not even understand how claustrophobic I am. I cannot be in, like, an enclosed tight space. Oh, no. Like, I will die. I will hyperventilate and... It's just all bad. So, I just did not feel the need to go to that party with them. And I was right, and I'm glad I didn't go because I would have ruined my new year's whereas i was at home safe in town with my family and i had a good time it was really mellow and i just drank some wine and it was all good you guys saw but i'm happy i went that route versus you know doing something else i am so late on the vlog so you guys like getting yesterday's vlog up i'm so late i haven't even i haven't even started editing it yet shh don't tell anyone uh, no, but I have to edit it really quickly and render it and try to get it up by 8 o'clock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't even have an excuse. Except I woke up really late today and I haven't been doing anything but this. It's my obsession and I don't know why it's my obsession because I've seen great every single episode of Grey's Anatomy. I've seen it at least twice if not more. So I don't know why. But it's just so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm sitting here rendering the video. And I just realized that today is 1-1-15. Like today is a new year. It's just a time to reflect. Like what did you accomplish? What did you not succeed in? What was your greatest memory? And I don't feel like I need you guys to tell me your failures because I feel like you should recognize your failures. But that's something for you. You hold that close to you and you just work harder. But if you're watching this video, it doesn't matter if you watch this video 100 days from today. If you ever watch this video, I want you to comment in the comment section right down there. And tell me, of the year 2014, what was something you accomplished and what was your greatest memory? I'll tell you guys mine. Um, something that I accomplished is from December 4th to December, or no, to January 1st. So from December 4th, 2014 to January 1st 
2015 I have successfully vlogged every single day so that is a good 20 something days that is a lot for me because at first I failed really terribly at trying to daily vlog and I've I've been successful and I'm on day 40 today this vlog right here that you're watching it's day 40 that's beyond amazing to me and um what else all right and my greatest memory is when I went to Warp Tour and I met the band we the Kings and I got to stand on stage while they performed and I met them all and I talked to them all. Um, I got a picture with everyone but Danny. I did hug him though and I talked to him about Lindsay and how amazing she is and he is and it was awesome and I talked to Travis a little bit. It was just great. I, I talked to all of them and it was just they were really super nice human beings. Okay, so Wait, I'm gonna come with my Chinese mom going to get Chinese house. food because she loves it and we tried to go the other night. So I'm going to So I just got back out of the little hood at Chinese restaurant. Don't my be mama. About <laughs> I'm just wanting to Chinese place. Oh my god, I am so over them chasing Chinese food. At least I don't have to worry about them chasing it anymore. They are over Chinese. <laughs> This is one of my favorite Ed Sheeran songs. Like he has, I pretty much love all of his songs. But Thinking Out Loud is definitely one of my favorite. Like it's so, so beautiful. God damn. Alrighty guys, today was a bit of a lazy day. I mean it was the first day of the year. And it was still technically a holiday so I didn't do anything. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and bid you guys adieu by ending this vlog and saying thanks so much for watching if you're watching you better be watching please be watching <laughs> comment like subscribe if you wanna and i will see you guys tomorrow bye